Still dealing with the impact of drought. We see all those uh, images from the East Coast and they're just getting deluged with rain. Just the opposite out here. Yeah, it is a major difference uh, depending on your location. So there has been just this plethora of rain for the South and the East. For our region and the Western U.S., it's mainly been drought. You can see that in our rain totals here. We did see a little bit of light rain Sunday morning, and that has given us totals of just a few hundredths of an inch. We're still lacking rain this month. We're seeing below normal rainfall in one of our driest months of the year. That's July and August. Rainy season doesn't typically start until we hit September if we're lucky. Mostly it's October through the winter time. That's when we receive a lot of our rainfall. Check out our drought monitor. Oregon now seeing 98, almost 99% of the state in a severe drought. Over a quarter of our state is in an exceptional drought. One of the worst years we've seen in the last two decades and you can see here how the entire western U.S. again is uh, dealing with massive drought that goes for a lot of the desert southwest and areas of California where again we're seeing a number of wildfires and the largest wildfires the Caldor and the Dixie fires continue to burn so we have not uh, seen good drought conditions our drought has not been nice to us this year as these, wild, as these wildfires continue to burn in terms of air quality, we've fared with good air in Portland. That's all because we have that westerly push of clean ocean air that drives a lot of that smoke to the east side. So there's still an air quality alert in place until this afternoon for areas near Bend uh, and also out to Pendleton. Seeing good air quality out there, but you can see how parts of Deschutes County, also further south into Medford, the uh, Klamath Basin, the Rogue Valley, still seeing unhealthy air quality as those fires continue to burn. It has been cooler with that little bit of moisture over the weekend. So we are seeing some better conditions setting up and those cooler temperatures are helping those fires down south. But we're still going to be in the thick of it until we head into the next several months. I think temperatures right now in Portland mid 60s we will slowly see those clouds pushing out. We're expecting a full a sunny afternoon temperatures ending in the mid 70s. Just a pleasant day. Not a lot of heat out there just right in the mid 70s. Again, we're still stuck under this pattern as we head into our week. So not expecting a big jump in temperatures at least for the next several days tomorrow we could hit the low 80s and then on Wednesday back in the upper 70s so we'll sit right in that range however come the weekend there are some models that are pushing in this big ridge of high pressure that may bump up our temperatures back into the upper 80s possibly uh, closer to 90 as we head towards Sunday so we'll watch that trend it can still adjust but we could see some heat heading into this coming weekend Today for the coast, a beautiful day. We are already seeing sunshine from this morning uh, out to Lincoln City. Uh, temperatures mostly in the mid 60s, a few breezy moments by the afternoon. In the valley today, going with the mid 70s, it'll be a beautiful day with very pleasant weather. Get outside and enjoy it. Go hit the park or get some exercise in. It's just going to be uh, not too hot and near perfect today. Again, a little warmer tomorrow, low 80s. Our overnight lows also still a little chilly in spots. We may see the low 50s and then Heading into this weekend, we'll track that warming trend on Sunday. That's your forecast. We'll be right back.